go. Hi, I'm Martha Donaldson, and I'm a stage manager. The stage manager is the central focal point for the show, as far as being the conduit between the director and the actors, and like the actual physical production, and all of the people who make the production happen, the designers, the all of the production departments and everything ideally flows back and forth through the stage manager. I'm with the production from the very beginning all the way through the final day of the run. I got it in my head that I wanted to work on the Bacchae and so I asked the public theater if I could do it and so here I am. You have the Dionysus entrance music? Here we go. This production is very exciting because Joanne Acolytus is the director, and when I first heard about it, I knew that it was going to be a very big, challenging theater project because Joanne does very evocative, provocative work. Look on me. The stage manager is there to really assist the director in making their vision come to life on the stage. Joanne, did you want to say one word about the sits pro? That's actually the aspect of stage managing that is so fun, is that you are so integral to what's going on right there with the director. Usually after the director leaves, um, the stage manager is the one who is, is responsible for making sure that the show maintains the, the original vision and concept of the director. So that relationship is very important and very um, symbiotic. Here we go from the holy music of the pipes. <laughs> is kind of driving the train. I keep the rehearsal on time. I take notes of what happens in rehearsal. Uh, you know, I stop us at lunch when we need to stop. Uh, I make sure everyone comes back, I get us started again, and then I stop us at the end of the day. Let's take a 10 minute break, everybody. I love my cast. Oh. Number one, a good stage manager has to have a personality, is really key. But it doesn't hurt. It's inflatable. I can be serious and I can keep things under control, but you know, I can be pretty goofy in rehearsal. And I think that it's important to do that because you know, theater is, is all about having fun. I'm going to my table. Working in the park is fantastic. It's a New York City tradition and it's so cool to be a part of it. Just to remind you that we do have the band. Just doing this because it's outdoors um, is a completely different experience from doing something indoors, first of all. But also this begins and then it closes. It changes everything about the way you feel about the show. You want to make it as good as you can and then you want to plan for what you're going to do when it's over. I like the tech rehearsal. That's my favorite time because it's really my time to really like be in charge of everything. To the hills. That's all I need to get us into this scene. And it's a lot of work and a lot of hours and very challenging as far as how you're going to get all the puzzle pieces to go together. Um, but that is what I like the most. And, I, and I, I like theater for its weird, crazy long hours. I mean, that's just part of it, part of an aspect of it that I like. And uh, we're going to move on to Cadmus Teresius Pentheus as soon as Joanne did. I too will join the dance. This is the other thing that I do in rehearsal, is that I write down the, what we call blocking, of course, which is the movements of the actors on stage. I usually have what you call your blocking script, and then you have your call script, which is where you put all the cues in. Because when you get into technical rehearsals, the stage manager is also responsible for you writing down all of the light cues, all of the sound cues. We have pyro cues in this show, scene cues, all of that stuff. That was the thunder go. Did you see my... That's another aspect of, of the stage manager is that first I run rehearsals and then I run the show. So I'm you know, really in the, in the mix the whole time. At 7.30, I check in with the house manager. I open the house. We're ready to open. Ready? Go for it. Fantastic. Joanne, I'm opening the house. OK, rock it. That's it, house open. And then I go into the booth. Ladies and gentlemen of the Bacchae, it's 7 o'clock. This is the one hour call. And then, uh, you know, at 8 o'clock or so, 
Uh, I get the house from the house manager. Five minutes for Jonathan Groff. The stage manager is really like, okay, we're going now. Places, lights go. The stage manager is making it happen. Lights go. Look on me. Dionysus. Thank you so much. Lights 123. Go. What makes it rewarding is ultimately creating a show that's awesome and that people love. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. Great job.